everybody. I just want to take this moment to uh, have a moment of gratitude. I'm very thankful to be here in Guanajuato and to be able to experience this cool culture, country, language, foods, and environment, climate, everything here. It's just amazing. And this morning, I'm just getting started on my day, getting ready for class. I'm reading some articles right now, and just so I can prepare for the things that will be taught today. And uh, also collecting some... Uh, recipes or crunch time tips from my cousin who has given me a lot of tips about eating healthy. I've been eating vegetables for the last two nights and I have to say I feel incredibly clean. Uh, I had things like broccoli, potatoes, uh, eggs, beans, that sort of thing. And uh, I'm going to be using more tips here uh, from my cousin. I use a, a quick oatmeal tip, which is basically just putting uh, milk, uh, oats, and fruits in the fridge, and then you have something nice to eat in the morning. It's very quick, and I'm going to try to eat it here for lunch. Uh, it's still baking or cooking in the fridge, if you will. Uh, anyways, this is my backyard, and it's really nice to sleep here because it's a little bit chilly in the morning, so you're crawled up under your uh, covers, and it's just... Uh, makes you feel like it's fall here in a sense and it's been raining the past couple of days but this morning it's a little bit better uh, less chilly also and this is still my room just uh, adjusting things around finding my uh, my fit and this is my uh, ghetto rig as one of my cousins would call it and uh, that's the material I'm going over right now and I didn't have much luck finding Palo Santo yesterday. Uh, I'm sure it's somewhere here in the market, but I just haven't had luck. Each of the ladies kept pointing me to another lady, it's to another lady, and I did not have any luck at all. So we're going to keep going on the hunt for that because it smells really great, and I hope to bring back to bring back some to the States. If not, maybe I'll order it from Amazon or, or something. Anyways, I uh, just want to wish you guys... Uh, a good day, afternoon, night, wherever you are, and uh, sharing this view with you and this nice environment. So I just finished class and I went downtown to get some churros. It was three churros for 20 pesos. And uh, just hanging around the church here. I forgot the name of the square, but there's a couple people singing. There's Batman and Wonder Woman, and uh, just people out and about. This is kind of just hanging out here on the steps. came through my window. I'm not sure how I got up here. Must, must have been climbing some trees or something. Maybe over there. But yeah, he just came right in, or she just came right in and made themselves right at home. On my bed, chilling, cleaning. Huh? <laughs> I've seen this cat outside already. Um, she's wandering around, I think. Maybe I'll give her some milk or something later. <laughs> What's your name, buddy? No collar? Nothing? Very affectionate kitty, huh? Yeah. Or are you just itchy? I'm not sure which. <laughs> Alright, I'll play with you later, buddy. Got us do some work. Yeah, I'm still in class right now. Just taking a moment to hang out with the kitty. I just had some nice lunch here in the Mercado Rodago and uh, just kind of roaming around trying to find a uh, souvenir piece to bring home. Usually what I just buy are uh, refrigerator magnets because they're easy to carry. They're usually pretty cheap and it gives you a good memory of where you've been. Um, I forgot to get one for Guadalajara and also uh, Medellin, Colombia, but uh, we both know I have a lot of videos for those, so those are good souvenirs, I guess. Um, yeah, just hanging out here for a little bit before I head back to the apartment, and uh, the market is always the busiest ever. Um, I found Palo Santo online for like seven bucks on Amazon, so I might not have to buy it here and carry it home. 
Um, but if you guys haven't heard of it before, check it out. And this is kind of what's going on at the market today. We got some breros, we got uh, bags, we got fridge magnets, backpacks, scarves, pretty much everything. <laughs> Tim, today we have some healthy recipes that we're going to cook up here, and um, I'm doing potatoes right now with some salt and um, limon afterwards. Got some broccoli, got some uh, kind of small tomatoes, uh, sliced the mango, got two eggs, I'm going to fry it, limon, the whole mango, got an avocado, and some <clears throat> potatoes that are already sliced and fried, and then of course got my milk. <laughs> This is the lactose free type. Yeah, this is kind of what I've been eating for the past two or three days, and it feels really good, I feel really clean, and I'm hoping to eat more like this um, when I get back to the States or wherever I go. Finally done cooking, and um, got everything on a plate here, um, and then a glass of milk to go down with it. This uh, weather is kind of gloomy, but uh, it's still pretty nice out here and not too cold or anything. So this is what I got here, and then I'm just going to eat it out here, enjoy the fresh air, and uh, take in the wonderful mountain spirit. <laughs> All right. I feel so bad for this cutie. I want to give it some food, or her some food, but I can't. She can't eat any of this, right? Can you? Can you eat any of this? Purpose? little kitty came back. She's ready to play. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at that. What's that? What's that? It's too bad I don't have any yarn or string for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> So I'm at this little square near the Calhoun de Beso, Besos, it's uh, the kissing alley and uh, just enjoying the sunlight here, just reading a book and capturing a time lapse that I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, today's Friday and there seems to be a lot of people out and about and a festival in town too. Um, I just finished lunch so I'm just sitting here and just enjoying the nice air and uh, just people watching, hanging out, you know. So this is that cool little bridge that I was telling you guys about. Now I want to show you. I don't know where it actually goes. I think it just goes to somebody's house maybe. But it's just kind of random just having this bridge in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I was waiting for the other days until it was kind of sunny to show you guys because um, every time I walk by it seems kind of, kind of dark and gloomy. Today seems to be a blessing. This little river or stream down there. It's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. Can't really see anything else. Just uh, looks like a little sidewalk down there in this stream. Oh, you can actually go down there if you want. These little stairs. It. It's a Saturday. I just had lunch here at Mercado Hodago, had some fried steak, and then now I'm eating a churro for uh, kind of a dessert. I'm here at the Mercado Hodago, and uh, people are just hanging around. I think they're just sightseeing, getting lunch, and whatnot. I'm planning to head to uh, Mirador de Rayas. Rayas. Should be a good panoramic. It took me about 20 minutes to climb this hill from the Mercado, but uh, there's an awesome view up here, and I'm almost there. Sweating hard. <laughs> 
That's a good hike though. I like it. There it is. Oh man, got a long ways to go. So we are at the Mirador de Reyes and this is the view looking down at the city. Uh, you can tell we can, <laughs> we're pretty up high. And uh, I just got here to try and catch my breath. And this, I think this looks like an old church or something like that here. But yeah, I'm gonna w walk around a little bit and see what's going on. This reminds me of Camino uh, Trece in uh, Colombia, but it's on a bigger scale, I guess. Wow, I'm really up high up here. try to climb that down later to get to the house. Otherwise, I have to go all the way around that bend on the far right over there. And uh, it takes longer, but I think I can definitely go down this hill. So let's see if I can find the path. There doesn't seem to be much here. It's just like an old castle uh, fortress, I guess. And I think it's... Uh, castle that's right in front of this mine right here. I don't know if the mine is still active. There's a little path right here which I'm going to check out. See what's over here. Just looks like another view, I guess. I didn't know this place was so treacherous. Look at all that. <laughs> wow. What a nice view. You can see the whole city from here. This must be the old mine that they're talking about, but maybe it's still active. It's prohibited to pass. Alright, so I'm headed back home and I'm attempting to scale down the side of this hill. There's a nice cactus tree here. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> Thank God it's not too hot today. But I can pretty much see the house from here. I'm pretty much there. It's not too steep, it just takes a little bit of time to get down. Um, this would be a nice place just to have a picnic or <laughs> meditate, read a book. It's quiet, it's peaceful. A lot of cactus. Like 